Hey everybody, this is Kevin over at jkevinjohnson.com. Just real, real quickly wanted to talk about what successful living looks like. Uh, successful living defined from a biblical perspective. Uh, you know, we live in a world today that trains us to chase after money, chase after things, chase after fame and fortune. And what you will soon realize is that these things have no substance in them. They have no sustaining power. They have nothing that uh, will last you over the long haul. And so we're left with a dilemma. Where should we look for our answers? Uh uh, I was I was uh, w- awakened with this verse in my in my in my mind this morning. Psalms 128, the whole chapter. If you li- if you read the chapter, it talks about it gives a blueprint uh, for what we should be chasing after, what we should be building, what we should look after, how we should prior order prioritize our life. And but uh, let me start with the first one, and that'll set the. St- the standard, the mode in which uh, we're to start to build and to start to journey and start to prioritize our life around. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways, for thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands, and happy thou be, thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Now, if you continue, it shall, it, it gives uh, the um, it gives an example of what happens when you take somebody who has been encaptured. Uh, somebody who has submitted, somebody who has humbled themselves to the spirit of God and what that does for you uh, in your life, both men and women. And how when you do this, uh, when you seek after the kingdom of heaven, uh, everything else will be added unto you. So the world is telling you to chase money, chase things, chase fortune, chase fame. And in the Bible is telling you don't chase those things because they have no sustaining power. They have no meaning. They have they can do nothing for you. They, it feels good in the short term, but over the long haul, it will not produce uh, happiness or real pure contentment or joy in your life Uh, so the world is telling you to chase this but the bible is telling you uh, to chase uh, real relationships with real people Uh, it's telling you to submit to humble yourself and allow the spirit of god to come into your heart to your mind and to your physical body your physical vessel and if you follow his leadership if you follow his promptings his urgings I can guarantee you that you will live a life of peace, of mental clarity and resilience. Uh, Your body will be uh, become more purified over time and your vessel will become clean so that uh, he can fill you up all the way up to the brim, even overflowing so that others may see this in your life and life produces more life. Life produces abundance of life. Uh, So. I just really quickly wanted to talk about that successful living and getting our priorities straight because when you do this, when you start the journey, when you humble yourself before your God and you submit and you listen and you read on your own, you study to show yourself approved, you do like the Bereans and you search out the scripture and you avail yourself to the to the spirit. Let me tell you, your, your table will be uh, just like this family right here. You'll be enjoying each other's company instead of at each other's throats. Uh, you'll have your kids You'll be you'll have your kids in line and in order and you won't have to worry about the media or the CS uh, CPS coming to your door telling you you're neglecting and abusing your children. But you will enjoy your children to see them as assets and not liabilities. Uh, So when you when you really start to um, get get the spirit of God in your heart, uh, these things like having real relationships, you'll start to chase something that's going to satiate you. You will love to talk with your significant other you'll love to be in the presence of your children you'll love to sit down at the table and look each other in the face and and eat real food and enjoy each other's company Uh, you'll love to go to work and have a career and uh, do something meaningful with your money and build wealth and learn how to be a good steward you'll learn uh, how to uh, uh, build wealth and uh Uh, be a productive citizen in your community so that you can be uh, uh, one that will be uh, up an up builder and encourager uh, one who edifies versus one who tear down tears down and depends and uh, is always looking for a handout Uh, you will learn to get up with joy and contentment and go out and make that dollar uh, so you can come home and support your family uh, and, and nurture your family uh, so you'll love to 
you'll learn to love to be the man or the woman of the house uh, that uh, is carrying out their roles and and, uh, and not out in the clubs or not out uh, doing their thing and being you. And you'll learn how to smile and enjoy life no matter what's going on. And, you know, the world wants to keep you dwelling in fear, anxiousness. They want to keep you. The world desires to keep uh, you to bogged down and distracted with so much uh, fear and torment. But when you allow when you avail yourself to the spirit of God and you allow him to um, come into your heart and direct and urge and lead and guide. Let me tell you, like I said, you'll you'll get to the point to where you smell a lot. Uh, you start to dress good. You start to eat good. You smell good. You want to talk good. Uh, you want to be good. You want to produce good everywhere. You want to enjoy that food, that good food and, uh, on all levels. Uh, mentally, you want to be clear. You want to see things clearly and be logical and think critically. Emotionally, you want to be sound. You want to be stable. You want to be uh, dwelling um, in a state of perfect peace. Uh, and also physically, you want to be physically fit, in shape, uh, functional, not dysfunctional, disease free, holistic. Uh, in your spirit, you want you want to stay connected to the promptings in the in the spirit and what he's saying to you uh, in your heart and what he's saying to you in your dreams and what he's saying to you uh, any way that he can say it to you and you're able to hear him. So these are this is what successful living looks like and i'm coming from psalms 128 and 1 and i was woken up you know i woke up with that scripture uh, in my heart uh, as an answer to the question what are you building uh so i've over time i've learned to put to uh, change my view of what successful living looks like it does not look like a bunch of zeros in the bank account it does not look like a mega mansion it doesn't look like a house full of luxury items it doesn't look like uh, me out chasing women chasing cars chasing things it doesn't it doesn't look like me giving up uh, setting my family to the side so I can do my thing but what it looks like is a man who has humbled himself, opened his heart and his mind and his physical body to the promptings, the moving, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. So that when I learn and as I grow and as I mature in him, uh, as I seek the heavenly treasures, everything else will be added unto me. And uh, I'll have that that table set for my family. And I'll love to go to work. And so I can uh, enjoy the fruits of my labor and smile. So with that, this is Kevin over at jkevinjohnson.com uh, talking about successful living and what that looks like. Successful living defined. It is not a bank account full of ones and multiple zeros behind it. It is not me having a mega mansion. It is not me uh having that that uh that 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 car that expensive luxury car it is not me having that corporate job and climbing the ladder as as fast as i can that is not successful living that's good living but the the real success is being able to produce a family that is functional productive that uh encourages upbuilds and um is a, a, a vital piece of the community and uh, that people can look to and glean from as salt and light. So with that, this is Kevin over jkevinjohnson.com. If you would just leave your comments, your questions or whatever, and let me know that you're out there listening. I uh, look forward to talking to you guys soon.